a piece of olive wood that I got from a friend. I don't know, I don't remember when it was lying in my in my pile of wood. I didn't know what to do with it for some time. It's got a lot of holes and waves and so I decided that today is the day and I'm going to make a ball out of it. Uh, a simple ball and this time I'm using um, a screw to hold it. I never use a screw but I couldn't think of a way to load and connect this project so I decided to use a screw. My first time I'm using a screw I think. Let's see how it's going to work for me. Hopefully it's going, not going to fly away. Let's see. I must be very careful here because I'm cutting a lot of wood. When I connected this project, I decided that I'm going to um, do it not straight in the center. So I'll have one wing longer than the other wing. If you understand what I'm trying to say. So it's not, it's like off, it's not off center turning, but it's the center is not in the center. So one wing of the ball will be longer than the other wing. Um, and let's see how it's going to work. But because of that, I'm going to have a lot of cutting of air and I have to be very careful, not only when I'm cutting, so it's, first of all, it's not going to break. And then later, when I'm going to um, sandpaper it, that I'm not going to cut one of my fingers. Thank you for coming and visiting my channel. And this video, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, um, press the bell so that you will be notified that I'm putting a new video. And don't forget to put some remarks and comments at the bottom. It helps a lot. So I'll know what you guys like. This uh, olive wood is hard, really, really hard. I thought it would be a little bit softer and it will be maybe a little bit moist, but it's dry like a rock. Lucky enough, I'm using uh, carbine tools, um, carbine, carbide tools, so other, uh, from black line tools. So otherwise, I think I would battle and um, it's dry, dry, dry. In this project, I decided I'm not going to make a tenon and a recess. I'm sorry, I'm not going to make a recess. To hold it, I'm going to do something else and you will see just now what I'm going to do. Uh, but I'm not going to do a, a, um, a recess because I was worried that if I'll do... First of all, I, don't, I didn't think it would be nice to put a recess over there. And I was worried that it will crack the wood if I put a recess because I didn't want to have a heavy leg. Preparing for the future, I just made a hole for my logo. And this time because of the shape and because, not the shape, because of the pattern of the grains of this um, olive wood, I decided I'm not going to make the three lines. And I'm using again, I actually like it. I'm using this uh, rubber mallet. Uh, uh, that's a body shop rubber mallet uh, just to protect my fingers. Um, so I'm not going to scratch them, break them, cut them, etc., etc. 
I'm, start, I'm starting with 120 and I'm going to go all the way um, with those all the way to uh, 320 and then I'm going to move to, to the round ones and I'm going to go all the way to 400 and then today I'm going to use um, a different polish I'm going to use two new uh, not new one of them is new the other one is is not new uh, the triple E I'm going to use at the beginning and then I'm going to use something called antique wax um, and this antique wax it's got a, the, the way it works is it, you rub it on you'll see how I do it and then you let it dry till it becomes like powderish and um, then you can buff it away so it works for this project because of all the holes it works for this project quite nice so this one was the triple E and um, I'll buff it with a round buffer and the other one I'm going to now this one is the the wax and I'm and this one will have to wait a little bit to dry but if you notice in the middle I don't do anything and then you'll just now you'll see why I don't put any any finish in the center and now you can see why because I'm going to um, hot gun glue a tenon after it dried nicely it's time to um, you can see the shine came up very nicely uh, polish it again with a flat polisher Here you could see what I meant at the beginning to, when I said that I want one wing to be longer than the other wing. And I think that this was a success. And one is a bit longer than the other side. And I hope it will pay out in the last and the final, in the final um, project that you could see that is one, one wing longer. I'm keeping the revolving center um, support as long as possible uh, just to be on the safe side. The same proce procedure, uh, 120 all the way to 400.
I'm warming up a corner of the uh, hot gun glue area so it will be much easier to remove it and it comes up comes off very easy then clean it up a little bit with alcohol uh, put a little bit of, um, of finish and my logo and then that's what that's how it came out Hi, thank you for joining me on my channel. I made a platter from a piece of uh, wild olive. Um, I decided not to use resin at all on this one. The grain, the pattern of this wood is too beautiful to take away, uh, away from it. Sorry, to take away from it with putting with resin, beautiful resin. Just to put resin, I didn't want to. Uh, you know that a mixer usually few beautiful colors, so it will take away the answers on the wild olive platter. I left on purpose the holes and the bark, whoever had bark left, I left the bark, I didn't do any changes. As it is pure wood, I hope you like it. A serving platter, wild olive. Again, thank you very much for visiting my channel. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe. Um, share it with your social network and your friend and I will see you on my next video. Boom.